it feels so cliche to be like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I truly am like, I feel like there's too much stuff on my plate and I like doing all of them. Or, like I don't have an end point right now. Hi, my name is Alan Pintal and I was born on May 6, 1990. Uh, my mom died when I was 13. Uh, from cancer. The timeline was crazy. It was like she was diagnosed at the end of summer, so like around July, August-ish, and then she died in November. So it was like coming to grips with the fact that my mom even had cancer, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, my mom is dead. Less than a year later, my dad got remarried. So it was just this insane point in my life where I think I just kind of detached um, because I didn't want to deal with like what was happening at home. After high school, I wanted to move right away to LA, but my, because of like, family expectations. I just went to college to like make my dad happy basically. When I was 23, I finally took the plunge and moved to LA to pursue comedy. And since then, for like four years now, I've just been on that track. So I feel like I've kind of found my tribe, like where I'm supposed to be. I work a full-time job, I work a part-time job. Uh, and then I'm on these two teams practicing a lot and just also trying to find time to have fun. I've been writing a lot of sketches about dead moms, just trying to find the humor in it, because it's an insane thing that happened. Um, and I, I can't deal with it in any other way than, ha than trying to find the humor in it. When I was in college, uh, I was like pretty big into the rave scene, and I think that kind of affected how I kind of viewed friendships and love and sex. It really, truly felt like everyone was my friend. Um, but looking back at it now, it was like, such a superficial time in my life where all the people I thought were my friends, like I, I can't even remember their last names or I didn't know anything about them other than the fact that we were party buddies. And so the community is probably also what draw, drew me to it because it felt like, oh, I have this like little community of like 30 plus people that I can hang out with or go party with or go dance with, things like that. I think I was watching like a Donald Glover stand up and he was, this is like from a few years ago and he was talking about how like the late 20s is when he's, he realized that that's the person he's gonna be for the rest of his life. And so it made me think like, oh, am I the person I want to be for the rest of my life? Because I think like all of us, I keep thinking like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go to the gym, I'll work out, I'll get a hot body, I'll do this, I'll do that. And like, I'm like, well, I'm 28 now. If I'm not already doing that, I might never do it. I feel like I'm not doing enough, even though I, I I look at my schedule, I'm like, I'm doing too much. Like, especially comparing myself to friends who are like, they've written a feature or they've written, written a pilot. And I'm like, well, I have a packet of sketches I'm proud of, but I'm like, is that enough? And so I feel like, like I have to be my own person who's like pushing myself to do more. In my life, I think my purpose is to just try to bring joy to other people. And whether that has a bigger role in the universe, it probably doesn't. And maybe I just should just stop putting myself on that scale and just thinking smaller. Happy birthday to everyone born on May 6th. Thank you for watching. We're uploading an episode every single day featuring a different person. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support.